Hey everybody, Bill Sky, the Cobalt Guy, and this is a continuation of our procedures, subprograms, or subroutine, and functions video. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to take subprograms or subroutines and functions and actually make them external from your main your main source code. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, very very common thing to do because you don't want your you don't you may not want your functions or your subroutines to only be accessible by a single program. God knows you don't want to have to copy and paste source code from program A to program B if you're going to be reusing a lot because what if you have to make a change to that to that function or that subroutine? Now you have to go and change it in every single program you've ever written where you've copy and pasted it. So you want to make it into an external library and then you want to go ahead and compile that library and then link it with your main. Now if you haven't watched the previous video, I think it was 13B, I really suggest that you go back and look at that because it actually shows you how to create these subroutines or subprograms and functions. And then we're going to take that code that we did in that previous video and actually use it in this video to show you how easy it is to set up. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, so I'm back here on Linux and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my COBOL projects directory and right there is the subprograms folder or directory that we created in the previous video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to control C and control V it just to paste it. And I'm going to rename it to subprograms external. And you'll see what I mean by that in just a moment. And now we're going to go into that and we've got our, now this is GNU COBOL. Again, doing this is different on every operating system. Um, so you definitely want to take a look at your COBOL implementation on how to do that. But this is, this is kind of an introduction to how to get started with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this main program, main.cob, and I'm just going to paste it. I'm going to rename it to functions.cob. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into main, my main.cob and I'm going to get rid of the functions that we actually put inside of the source code because now they're going to be located in the functions.cob file. So I'm actually going to start down here and there's my deg 2 rad f, that's the function, and here's my deg 2 rad period and that was the subprogram or the subroutine. So we're going to get rid of both of those. I'm just going to select them and delete them. They're now gone. Um, I don't have to change anything else in the main program because the linker is going to handle all of this. But you definitely do want to make sure that you've got this function specified deg 2 rad f in your repository section of your, um, of your, your environment division. Okay, so let's actually, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in my functions.cob, I'm going to open that up, and I want to get rid of the main program source code because that's in the main.cob file. So let's get rid of that. So only the only thing that should be left inside of your functions.cob file is this deg2radf function and this deg2rad subroutine or subprogram. So that's all that should be there, and I'm going to save that. Now, there's one other thing that we need to do. We now need to actually change the make file. To spec now, you, in, on the mainframe, you would do this in JCL, but you definitely want to do it uh, in GNU COBOL in the make file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open that up. There's my make file, and there's a number of things that we want to do. Uh, let's do the simplest one. The, the simplest one here is that under in the renumber in the renumber task i'm going to say that functions.cob is also a dependency and then i'm going to copy and what i'm doing here is i want to be able to re renumber my source code for both my main.cob and my functions.cob source file so now let's see how that works. So I'm going to say build custom target, renumber, and you can see both of them have been renumbered. So if I reload them, the numbering has started from 100 again. So kind of nice. I'm going to reload this one. Okay, so now they're, they're actual separate files. 
Well, they've been separate files, but now they're separately numbered and all that. Okay. The next thing that I want to do is I want to create a new dependency. So I'm going to, or a new task. So I'm going to create this task called functions.o. That is going to be dependent on the functions.cob file. And that's going to be compile only. We're going to get rid of the dash x. I'm going to make this functions.cob. Now I'm going to do the same thing with main.o. I'm going to make a main.o. That is reliant upon main.cob. And we're going to compile that only. But we're going to leave the dash x. And I believe it's because the dash x says this is the executable one. This is the actual main one. OK, so that looks pretty good. All right, so now under main, I'm going to say main.o and, and functions.o. It is reliant upon both of those. And we're going to change the main task to be nothing but a, a linkage task. So we're just going to say dash x, dash o, and we're going to say main.o and functions.o. OK, so let's, let's look a little closer at this. So what have we done? We've created a main task, and the main task is dependent upon the main.o target and the functions.o target. And those are displayed down here. Now, what does the main.o target or task do? It is dependent upon the main.cob file. And if this main.cob file is there, it's going to do a compile. The dash c means only compile it, don't link it. And everything else is the same. And there's my main.cob. Now we have a functions.o. That is dependent upon the functions.cob file. And that's going to compile. And the dash g, by the way, is debug. It's to make sure that we have debug symbols in there. And that's going to compile the functions.cob file. So what are, what are those compile steps going to do? Is they're going to create a main.o file and a functions.o file. Pretty cool. Now, once those are done, our main task is going to link, that's the dash o, it's going to link the main.o and the functions.o together. Now I am wondering, I think maybe we might be done. We might be done with it. Okay, so let's go up here and let's say build and make. My goodness, it ran the first time. And let's go down to terminal and let's run it. And it ran perfect the first time. How, how cool is that, right? And really, we just copied the functions that we did in our main into an external library. Now, how often do I do it this way? All the time. Whenever I'm going to be creating a new function, I always do it in line with my main program. And then once I get that function running, I then ex extract it and put it in its own function library. And then I go ahead and modify the make file, and then I am able to access it. Now, if I look at my directory listing here, and this is again GNU COBOL, but it'll be very similar with other ones, I have a functions.o file. This file I can copy into just about any program I want. So let's say if I were to create another project here, I won't have to recompile that all the time. All I will do is copy the functions.o into that new directory, and then I don't need this right here, this compile, because I'm not compiling the functions.cob. I've compiled it independently. So I can actually delete that. But I will be dependent upon the functions.o file during the link, because the link has to link all of the object files into a single executable. Um, I wonder maybe we should just go ahead and try that out. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and create another project. And I'm going to call this subprogram e test. OK. Um, and I'm going, actually, let, let's copy it over from this one. 
I'll call this external T. And now the the we no longer need the functions dot functions dot uh, cop. We don't need that anymore. So let's get rid of all of these unnecessary files. Now I'm going to keep the functions dot o. You want to keep that because that is required by the linker to link it in with the main. So it looks like everything else is good. So let's go ahead and now edit the make file. So we don't have to compile functions.o because it was compiled in a different project. And I believe that's it. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that. Now I am gonna open up my main. So let's go ahead and open up our main.cob. And I'm gonna put in here Hello, we're welcome to functions and subprograms. External. And again, I don't have any of them defined in my main source file, but I am accessing them. Let's go ahead and build it. Let's run it. Ran absolutely great. You can see, oh, wait a minute, hold on. Nope, wait. I don't see the new external. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it. And I'm going to build it. Ah, okay. So we have a, so let's take a look. So yeah, I hadn't built it correctly. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the only dependency I believe that main has is main.o. So let's go ahead and save and build it now. So make sure we still have functions.o. Oops, I accidentally deleted I must have deleted it. So let's go to COBOL projects. Let's go to subprograms. And let's copy the functions.o. This is pretty much how you would do it. And I'm gonna paste it. And now let's go back and try to build it. Ah, okay, it worked. Let's go back here. Oh, there's still something wrong with my make file. Let's take a look. don't think we need the oh we didn't specify an executable name in the make file there we go and there's our external and all the numbers are, are, are look look correct they all look correct there so again we we changed we, we changed our main target our main step to do a link to execute the main program executable using these two object files. The main.o is dependent upon main.cob and main.o just does a compile only. That's what the dash c is. And then uh, we're not compiling functions.o because functions.o was created in a separate step. One other thing we might want to do with this make file is that we might want to just say remove main.o. We don't want to remove all.o files because that's the functions.o. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it again. And you can see now that functions.o was not deleted. I'm not sure what this is. I think that was something uh, in that link statement uh, that was incorrect. So there's our functions.o. So if I now build it, and if I run it, there we go. Now, remember what we did here in the previous project where we actually created the functions.o file right there is in the functions.cob, we had both a function 
as well as a subprogram or a subroutine, which is this program ID right here. And so they can exist in the same source file. Uh, I've had people asking, what's really the difference between subroutines and functions? Well, the textbook said that in subroutines, you don't actually modify the data. Um, I'm not sure how true that is. To me, the difference is the way that you call the functions or the way that you call, call it. So like if you remember, when you call a subroutine or a subprogram, you use the call statement. In a function, you don't use the call statement. You simply call it just like you would a function in C, C++ and Java. Um, I also believe Python is the same way. So that's the difference. Okay, so that is externalizing your functions and your subroutines or your functions and your subprograms. But remember, this is on GNU COBOL, and it's going to be different on every compiler, COBOL compiler out there. Not a big difference, but there will be differences, especially on IBM mainframe COBOL, which means you have to do all of this compilation uh, in J job control language, JCL. Then you have to move it into a copy library. You have to move it into a location where your, your, your next compile of your main program can find that functions. And it won't be functions.o either. It'll be something different. So again, it all depends on the implementation of your COBOL compiler and also the hardware. Is it a mainframe? Is it a workstation? Or is it a PC? So that is an introduction to functions and externalizing them. Hope to see you again real soon.